Let's go deer hunting, shall we? Lever action review, nothing fancy project. This is the Mossberg 464 series. Tabletop review. All our shooting, that's with an apostrophe in shooting. Shooting. Is done. By the way, if you don't want to kill any deer, this is a great rifle to take. Excellent choice. We will explain in this tabletop review as we kick off, apparently, another what? Summertime fails Happy event. For now. <laughs> I don't think it's you. Really now, you would look at a lever action, right? And you'd go, lever action, dude. All day long reliable, did wouldn't it, you? Wouldn't you? Uh, Bolt action gun, all day reliable. Uh, yeah. Well, we're going to start rolling in the footage, and it was anything but reliable. We have to start before features on this lightweight review where we talk about features, how does it shoot, would I buy it, blah, blah, non-feature length. We got to talk about that it didn't shoot well at all. How did this happen, though? <laughs> this is what baffles me. They've been making this type of rifle since the days of the Cowboys, yet this comes out in it's 2017 new for, it's new for out Mossberg. of the factory, and it sucks. It sucks. Okay, now we'll field the standard idiotic YouTube comment, which says, well, you're short stroking it. No, we're not. Nah. No, we're not. We shoot lever guns and have for decades. We're good at them. We weren't short stroking it. Uh -uh. And that doesn't explain the other problems either. Yep. Kind of like how in this one... It still has a stuck shell casing in it. Yep. In a lever action. Brass. That's 30 brass. 30 casing. So no writing it off. Oh, it's just steel. Mm -hmm. Nope. That happened several times. We gave it a lot of opportunities actually. We're like, okay, maybe the, you know, maybe they need some break in. And yes, I did say they. It's actually two models. On the table is the wood. 41020 pistol gripped Mossberg 464 in 3030. And next, here it comes. This All right, old timer, I'll take it from here. <laughs> All right, so if you've been looking at this, fellow young people, and you're like, oh, look at that wood, that's so old. Let me just turn my seat backwards, sit down, and flip my hat bill around the back, because here comes the young boys model. <laughs> Boom. Here, put that. it up here. Okay. This is the zombie SPX. Look at that. 464. Man. Thanks that to is... Gunny's Gun Store that makes this review possible. I expect you guys to buy Look all that. your guns from Gunny's always. That is young. Until it's further hip, it's with it. It's got rails. It's got a flash hider. It's got cool <laughs> green writing on the side. It's got this sweet stock. That is rad. That's for old guys. Okay, let me let me kind of represent common sense here. I love wood. That. Wood's awesome. <laughs> and the wood on this, we're kind of going to features oh, briefly. Do. It's stamped check ring because this is a price point 3030. It has a solid rubber butt pad. I love that. I think the wood looks good. I, I love the matte finish on it. I think this is great for the money. A Winchester period rifle, 94, uh, Winchester 94 would dominate it for quality. But, you know, this day and age, it's okay. So let me just throw that in there. I love wood, and actually that's an enameled, oh no, that's a blue re steel receiver on that. That being said, and guys are going to be shocked when actually you and I are in agreement, we actually like the configuration of the zombie model. I'll be honest, I am kind of making fun of this. Uh, this is the kind of thing. That, I kind of like it. Well, I can't pull this out like of the trunk of my Subaru BRZ at the range. Mm -hmm. That's going to look dumb. If I pull this out, totally in character. That's perfect. 33 inches in overall length and more legal in a lot more places. Yep. It's a lever gun. Smooth as glass. It is cool. It's like, a lever gun. It's cool. It ain't gonna go. Let's get back to how they shot, though. So I said yeah. we had two. This one was a fail. So multiple failures to cycle. I guess it it just would like yeah. double feed. You'll see the footage. It was not well. It loaded very difficult. Dude, yep. Dude, I mean, it was jammed, not an easy load. This one, same. Oh, same. Same. We yeah. shot it again yesterday. It's like, let's give it another shot. And lubed it up. Didn't help. Mm -mm. But not to mention, going into features again, I hate this. This freaking lever safety right here. So many times you weren't squeezing it, you couldn't pull the trigger. Let me safety check this one real quick. Awkward angle. And so you're trying to pull it and maybe you don't have it depressed all the way. Also a superfluous tang safety. Yep. Hate that. Hate it. But that's what we need apparently on all the lever guns. 
That safety is infuriating though. Agreed. And that alone is reason for me not to buy. I like the price point. And to be honest with you, I'd probably get this one. This what? one's awesome looking. Look, it's good. It's got handsome you, wood. It's I, heirloom quality. You, so you're just messing around when you said you like the zombie the I best. Like, but I do like the zombie. I I don't know. I'm mixed on it. Oh, I hate the lever safety and I don't like the tank safety. Now, to be fair, all the lever guns that I know of have some sort of safety. The Marlins have a cross bolt now yeah. due to all the legal crap that we deal with nowadays. We'll show you another one before we end that doesn't have all that stuff. And it's old school it Nirvana. It's, oh, it's so old good. school Nirvana. We've had some good lever guns yeah. through the BLR. Do you remember that one? Yeah. The Browning? Still, Bra Love Browning is awesome. It's like a watch. awesome gun. It's just slick. The, and the 94, we're talking oh, 22 cool. small bore now, but yep. the 94 22 is amazing. Awesome. It is my all time favorite lever action awesome. gun. It's like, it's it's just greased, man. It's so fast and smooth. And people wonder why we like lever guns so much, because it adds another step in the shooting process. It turn, it you can, it kind of magnifies the fun you get out of so many rounds. So having that in a little bit bigger caliber that you can go to the range and have fun with, it, there's something fun and we were kind of about joking it. around with the the deer hunting, but 3030 is a yeah. great caliber. It's a great defensive caliber. It's a medium powered load. Uh, I, I like 3030. You put a Levolution in there, the pointed polymer tip, it gets a lot more ballistic efficiency. It's good. Getting back to the zombie version, the SPX, which is 41026, this gun here ha holds so much promise. Yeah. Now, to traditionalists, they'll go, oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. But to someone who's all first cool oriented, they'll go, that's a pretty cool survival right. gun that's not yeah, a semi auto. 33 inches overall length. I don't know if I mentioned the weight. This is only five pounds, five ounces. This one's only slightly heavier, five pounds, 14 ounces. Smooth as so those are good things. It's got an adjustable stock, albeit, yeah. try to retract that. It is. The tube on that is insane. Pretty look sure how stiff you, that is. If you pull it out on the first try, now uh, push it in. I'll hold it tight. Of England. <laughs> there you go. That's a Blackhawk stock, so I guess shame on Blackhawk for that quality miss. Uh, it shouldn't be that difficult, but cheap. You know the rollover is fine. This is a straight pistol grip configuration, albeit a tang safety. I don't have any problem with the lever. The trigger is okay. Do I have my trigger scale here? I don't think it's too bad of a trigger. No, it's okay. Yeah, I do. So we've safety checked it already. Safe direction. Let's see what this Mr. Zombie pulls at. What do you think it'll be? I'll say six pounds. Seven. Is the safety on? Oh, here we go again. The tank safety. Remember? Tank safety. Yep. It reminds me of a grip safety. Yeah. I hate grip safeties. It's the only thing I can take a grip safety on is an XDM. Yep. Other than that, hate it. Even on 1911s. It's just complexity I don't want or need. Called it. Five, mm -hmm. five, eight. So that's a pretty good trigger. Yeah. Uh, I think they're gritty. I don't think they cycle well at all. I think they're not good at all. It just feels like a price point lever action in every sense of the word. Now, quality on the exterior is like, okay, drilled and tap for scope, uh, for scope mounting, yeah, so. if you care. Oh, it's a number 403 Weaver base, two-piece base, which you put on there. The sights on the zombie one are decent. They're I love them. Three-dot optic. It's awesome. They're they precise great. enough. They're easy to catch, because this does recoil a little bit. We're kind of blending everything together and it's kind of fun. So here it is at 50 yards with me shooting it. I say the accuracy was uh, not great. Even for iron sights, I think that's pretty horrible accuracy. Right? Uh, Jardine shot this one. His point of aim was here. <laughs> shot this and I discounted his flyer. So the group is really like this, but I just counted his four. So that's a really good group. And uh, So maybe it holds promise. That's your accuracy. Was that both the zombie one? I think it's the wood. We the shot POU this on this one is I think headshot shot. and zombies, if the market is to be believed. <laughs> so that is not headshot. ZMB. I guess it's to test all it's zombie bit, stuff. Try, but I'm, I would black that out immediately. Great. Someone knows about Walking Dead. One of the characters carries a lever action, right? Oh, An old school right. mayor's leg. You mean the show that nobody watches anymore? Outside. Now it's so. Fear the Walking Dead, I think. They've done the spinoff. Uh, Matt finish on this one. A marginal blued finish on the wood version. And this has brass bead traditional buckhorn sights on it. Quick look up here. They're okay. I don't mind yeah. them. I think uh, when I grew up hunting lever actions, and actually I ran a 94, model 94 in the day when I was deer hunting in Virginia, uh, I used iron sights. 
if I'm not mistaken. Dad put a scope on it later, but I, I did some hunts with iron sights. This one has a flash suppressor on it. Again, traditionalists won't like that. Uh, do you need it? Mm, probably not. I mean, you can see that this is a shorter gun. It's a shorter barrel on this one, so I don't mind it. Whatever. You got sling, at least sling attachment points on your zombie model. I just wish it shot well. I know. Can you imagine if this shot accurately, it was 100% reliable, it didn't have this dumb tang safety? This would be a pretty positive review. If you're no matter what the internet said. Because yeah. the internet, oh, zombie 30-30, how dumb is that? I, I was I kidding about cool. it. I think there's nothing wrong with this, and more manufacturers should do it. Just because something's traditionally this way doesn't mean you can't bring it into the 21st Absolutely. century and add spots for stuff. Survival gun POU, Look how much dude. fun that would be. Even buy a freaking cheesy Look laser sight with a light on it. And it's Take a 30-30. It it's not a 2 2 three. It's a 30-30. Yeah. The round capacity on this, and remember I said shorter barrel, 16 and a quarter inches. This is a 20-inch barrel. So seven rounds on model number, the wood, 41020. 41026 is six rounds. Coming to a uh, barrel band again, we talked you. about the attachment point there. Both are super light, super light. But how does it shoot? I would say for me, accuracy, and I, to be honest, I should have taken on another accuracy outing, but I was so upset at how these guns went in cycle. I'm like, why bother? Yep. They're lucky they got two pieces of paper. Well, and the way they don't cycle baffles me still. You try, at first we racked it normal, oh, it didn't pick up around that time. All right, well, let's try racking this thing slow. Yeah, so you, you did slow, vary your speed. Rack it all the way, then back, still wouldn't pick up around. All right, let's try it fast, let's try it slow. Each way, it would just, yeah, it's like it looks at the round and goes, nah, this one isn't worthy, I'm not chambering it. So nothing fancy. Uh, pr another summertime fails event, we see that, but is there any lever gun you do like? Well, funny you mention it, the answer is yes. How about a 1950s era awesome. Marlin 336 with my Lyman receiver mounted sight on it? Not Lyman, I'm sorry, Williams. That is a freaking lever gun. That I bought off an estate sale, and yes, I will review it separately. Eat your heart out. It is Cycle that action. Awesome. Cycle that action. Awesome. Show them. There's no safeties on it. There's no tang safety. <laughs> no... No freaking lever safety. It, Cycle it all the way though. Let's it's show them hard. how Can smooth that it? is. No, move it forward. They can't okay. see it. I got it. Look at that, dude. Okay. He's not demoing. He's in. A, he's bending over I, like yeah, three feet. I've Let got me try. Cables and stuff all in my way. Actually, I'll just roll in footage because yeah. I've shot this already. Jardine. I can't remember if Jardine shot or not. And it's hard to total win. It's hard to convey. Look at the bluing, the dudes. Look at the bluing. And that's where these really differ, because it's easy to look at and go, yeah, so what? It's a lever. It's a lever. You know, this one's a lever. When you do this one, it's Marlin 336, 1956, I think. There's something about these old ones, and oh, I loved it gosh, in the BLR, too. Gun. As soon as you start bringing that lever forward, the bolt has this momentum of its own. Oh. And it feels, that's the soul, that's that character in a I gun. I misunderstood you. you. Feel it. You're talking about, yeah, the BLR in 308. Yeah, yeah that is a great, I was thinking 22. You're uh -huh. right. No, it's the BLR got the same is thing. amazing. It's got that same, as soon as mm -hmm. you start to pull it, it's. It almost wants so to cycle it works, itself. And that's what's so awesome. Thank you. All, your, all you needed for safety, old school bro, and a little bit of training to your nine-year-old is half cock. Yeah. You don't, hey, it's cock, so? You know how many generations did it that way without any problem, any ADs? How about everyone? But here we live in this protectionist society. We've got to put two safeties on everything, and it just ruins the gun. Never mind if it was reliable. It ruins it. Yep. So, Mossberg, message to you is go back to the drawing board you need to figure out what's going on with this gun you need to improve the quality of components i imagine there's a bunch of mem parts in there that are ill-fitted and i'm not going to crack it open and spend the time because guys don't care well and before anyone sits there because i know someone's well you know the tank safety it's not hard you just have to be like yeah you just need to be trained there's something about the line of pull and the way you have it happened to multiple shooters with it correct they're pulling the gun back you're pulling it Back Trigger doesn't go anywhere because you haven't depressed the, the yeah. lever safety. You're pulling it back towards your shoulder instead of, you know, totally grabbing it like that. I don't, it, it happens often enough that it doesn't seem like it's ergonomically correct. 
You say Whatever. you can adapt to anything if you train enough, right? Ugh, people say that. Yeah, you can get used to it. No, I train you can. fine. You can. You can train to a lot yeah. of low quality. You can eat with plastic silverware yeah. day in and day out and get used to it. Yeah. Just don't put enough pressure on the fork, otherwise it snaps. Sure. Yeah. You get used to it. You can say, yeah, I've gotten accustomed oh, to only so using baby wipes to shower. <laughs> I don't know why you think you need running water. Now, guys will say, well, the current Marlin 336 nowhere represents that level of quality. It too has some protectionist features on it. Yeah. Agreed. There's no argument there. Agreed. I mean, this era of Marlin is, is, in my mind, almost perfect. I mean, I would say almost because it's not drilled and tapped for a scope. I drilled and tapped it to put this receiver sight on. Hey, but that's a collectible. Hey, it's in our family forever. Mm -hmm. And we want decent sights. I shot the sights on this one and they weren't regulated well at all. It was kind of all over the place. Guess what? Wow. Now it hits at 100 yards without problem. It's awesome. So if you want to go deer hunting, you actually want to kill something, take that one. 100% reliable, adequately accurate. If you don't want to kill anything, you just want to, I don't know, save money. They are affordable. They are. The Mossberg 464 is affordable. They just need to take them back. Do a war I'm not condemning it at all. I'm definitely not condemning Mossberg coming out with them. I think it's great that there's more lever guns. If they did a Gen 2 of this, I'd be That's pumped. Complete. Do a Gen 2. Do Get Gen Get this two. shit Get off of the that. side. Number one, no zombie nonsense. No zombie references whatsoever. Call it the 464 Survival. Yeah. Simple as that. Smooth everything out. Nope, and then tell the world about it. And all the, yep. also, since this has a negative review, and I'm saying this from now on, put in a test target, please. Oh, that would be Put cool. in a test target. So yeah. have a, an American craftsman that put the gun together. He test fires it and he signs his name to the test target. Yeah. I checked the function on this gun and here's what I got at 50 yards or 100 yards. Yeah. That that would do a, a lot to restore the faith in the Mossberg lever action. But hey, that's impossible. Oh, oh wait. Point. What do you mean? I'm looking at the sticker, the proudly American and all that stuff. <laughs> well, there you go. Proudly American, and in this case, proudly unreliable. Yeah. Summertime fails event. So uh, we were astonished. I mean, shocked at how unreliable it was. Yeah. <sighs> Whatever. We were excited, man. Did this work well without the tang safety if it functioned, you know, a lot like that? it was adequately that? accurate, relatively smooth consistently cycled no interferences from the safety yeah. mechanisms this would be a positive review and especially how, for this one how excited would we be at that though at the price totally. point going dude look at the totally. cool, the amount of american totally. lever action you can get for your dollar these how days. many it's people awesome. are at walmart buying this right now for deer season or in the upcoming yeah. months probably a few yeah. maybe not so much if they watch this video <laughs> hey don't get us wrong we love mossberg i mean i gave a super positive review to the mvp half moa third moa great gun but every Every gun, every yeah. model is its own creature. Everything's you know? different. Everything's different. This can be rescued, but it needs some work.